This is the ENC EC chip and this is the ENC 9012 and this is ENC 9020. And uh, for development purpose, I purchased the adapter board, which soldered the a few pins here and connect this to the regular uh, SPI chip pin. I also purchased a programmer that can, it's, it's very cheap programmer that can program the a lot of device. This is CH340A and I'm going to compare the speed and performance of programming the EC. I hook up the uh, 9022 first. Let's connect the device and then we can detect, detect. it will say 1920 select and let's open the file and let's write to it I will speed up to the end Okay, program finished. Uh, I do not see any indication of the programming like flashing LEDs. Uh, the time takes two minutes and fi uh, 49, uh, two minutes and 50 seconds. So let's do a verification, which is this button. Again, it will take a while. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, verify finished. The, the verification takes one minute and uh, 30 seconds. So let's do a calculation here. Let's bring the calculator here. So read the speed at 128 kilobyte per se, uh, 128 kilobyte of the flash divided by 90 seconds. The read speed is 1.42 uh, kilobyte per second. And the programming speed is 128 kilobyte divided by Wow, one, 120 plus 50, 170, 170. It's about 0 0.75 kilobyte per second. So now let's remove it and plug in the U-Link NT, connect to the uh, ENC 9022. So let's start the software. Uh, by the way, in the software, 1.27 we support the programming and the connection is the same as the SPI flash. There's SI, SO, SDK, CS connected. And the first uh, we can try to detect, it will tell you the, the ID is 9020 and EC version and EVI version. So we can bring this file, which is the same file as the uh, CH program uses. So let's program it and click plug in. And you can see the live programming speed is about 41 seconds per second. And it takes three seconds to programming. And let's do a verification. And it takes two seconds to verify. Two seconds versus uh, how many? Like two minutes. Or so let's try to erase it. We can erase the flash as well. If we do erase it, and then we can read it back. It's all empty, will be completely free. And if I load this file again, we'll verify, we'll clearly fail. And then we can program one more time. Yeah, just a few mouse click with a few seconds, we complete the programming of EC1922. Uh, another chip is EC1912. And let's take a look. This is 912. Let's detect it. And this says 9010. Uh, and the hardware and uh, EDI version is different. So now let's load this thing and we can pr try to program. We can see the speed is significantly slower, um, but it's much, much faster than the CH programmer. This is 18 kilobyte per second versus the original 41 kilobyte per second program. This takes seven seconds to program. 
and let's verify it. And you can see the real speed is identical to the 1922. So I think internal design is different. So 1922 takes significant lead in programming speed. All in all, Unique NT now is capable of supporting uh, programming the EC chip on the laptop. And I hope laptop re uh, repair guys can find this useful to use in the uh, laptop repair industry.